you guys welcome back so I got a review and demo for y'all today on a foundation this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation with vitamins plus insulizole sunscreen broad spectrum spf 20 and i have it in 710 classic ivory so i'm going to do like i normally do in my foundation reviews and demos i'm going to run through the different claims on this foundation what it's supposed to do show you a demo and how i apply it and then let you know my final thoughts and review on this foundation so let's get to it so i found mine at walgreens and i think it was around 11 dollars or so i didn't grab my receipt but prices are going to vary based on where you purchase it anyway um, like i'm looking on the covergirl website and it says 874 on there so prices are gonna vary where you purchase it really pretty nice glass packaging um, it's got the little um, lid that comes off and then it's a pump so really pretty packaging to it now let's talk about the claims so on the covergirl website it says discover healthy looking skin bottled new vitalist healthy elixir foundation is infused with vitamins e b3 b5 plus spf 20 for correction protection and perfection all in one this full coverage foundation makes skin glow with a healthy look from the inside out and then on the bottle it says lightweight full coverage makeup this formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20, vitamins, and an antioxidant. And then it says oil-free. So it's supposed to be oil-free, supposed to give your skin good things, full coverage, um, and a healthy look to the skin. So those are the claims. Let's get to the demo. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer. So now I'm going to apply a primer. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. I do find that this foundation um, needs a primer for me and my kind of combo oily normal skin type but i do get oily especially in my t-zone so i just find that this foundation works definitely better with a primer okay now onto the foundation i wear it in classic ivory and i'm going to apply it with my delium tools 957 brush so i'm just going to get a couple of pumps and just dot this on my face i find that a little bit does go a long way with this foundation like it doesn't like right off have full coverage but I find that it blends really well so it seems like it goes pretty far so I'm gonna do some blending get this all applied I will definitely need more coats but just as an initial application so see if you just want like a light coverage like you can just blend on the land and get it all over your face really quickly It definitely does have a scent. It kind of smells like um, sunflower perfume. Like, it just kind of smells florally, but like sunflower perfume. I don't think it's a bad smell. It's kind of like a fresh, nice smell. Um, but it does smell, you know, like it has fragrance in it. Okay, so there is one really light coat. I think I applied a little bit more on this side, so you can kind of see the difference if you apply a little bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and apply another coat because I want a little bit more coverage, mainly on my cheeks. I might put a little bit more on my forehead, but definitely want more coverage on my cheeks. And I probably got too much for a second coat. So here it is with a second coat. I just love the finish on this foundation. It's just very skin-like, kind of like a satin sort of a finish. And as far as coverage, I would say overall, it's pretty much a medium moving towards full, but definitely not full coverage. So I don't know that I would say it's full coverage like it says. I would say it's more medium, like a good medium coverage. Um, Cause you know, I'm still gonna have to cover that up, my under eye circles. So. I need a little bit more coverage in certain areas, whereas if it were full coverage, I likely wouldn't. It would probably cover most of that. Um, but I think it just looks really pretty on my skin. I really don't notice it like clinging to any areas on my skin as long as I blend it well. Like if I really blend it into my skin, I find it really does kind of meld into the skin and doesn't really sit on top. Maybe a little bit of collecting in my pores, um, but that's probably because I put 
more product there. So probably less product would give less of that effect there happening, the whole pore situation. So overall, I love how it looks on the skin. That's how I apply it. As far as this color, I'm so glad I got this one because I debated either this one or the next color, but this is the lightest one that I saw on the display, at least at my Walgreens, 710. And I mean, it matches me. And it seems to, if anything, be a smidgen pink and dark. So as far as like color, um, I would say it seems to run a little bit dark, at least this color does. So glad I grabbed that one. Okay, so that's how I apply it. So I'm gonna come back with some more thoughts after I finish up my makeup. So let's revisit those claims and talk about them. So it says that it's infused with a bunch of vitamins. So I assume that those are in there. I really don't have a way of like 100% verifying it because I'm not really up on my ingredient information. So I assume that that is in there. SPF 20, great. I assume that's in there too. It says for correction, protection, and perfection. Correction, yes, I would say so. Um, it says over here, full coverage makeup. I wouldn't say full coverage. I would say more medium, as you saw in the demo. I think you get pretty good coverage, but not ever really like to full, full coverage. I would say more on the medium side. But I think it does um, make the skin look nice, and I think it does a good job of correcting um, and perfecting and I assume protecting with the SPF 20. So yes, I would say that it delivers on that, except a little tweak on the coverage. And on the bottle, it says lightweight. I would definitely say it feels lightweight. Um, it does feel like a little bit tacky on the skin. I don't know if that's like the vitamins in it or something. Um, so it, it does kind of keep a little bit of that, even setting it, I can kind of still feel that. It's not like it's uncomfortable or anything like that. It applies really lightly and it really blends very well, very easily, um, but it still has a little bit of like a tacky feel to it. So that could be the skincare that I put under it. I've put, I always put skincare under it. So every time I've worn it, I've noticed that. Um, but I do feel like it just has a little bit of that. Let me feel it just like straight by itself on my hand. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Nothing bad, but um, that's just a little side note. That's something that I notice. And then what else does it say? We already went over full coverage. It makes skin glow with a healthy look from the inside out. Yes, I would definitely say it does. It has a really beautiful look on the skin. Like it just looks very skin-like, very nice and healthy, not super matte at all. If you're looking for super matte, this would not be the foundation for you. It has kind of more of that um, satin sort of a finish to it. And then it says oil-free. That's the last thing it says. So I assume that's true too. So I think it overall, delivers pretty well on its claims. Let's talk about the wear time and just my overall thoughts on this foundation. So I love the way that it looks when I first apply it, but around hour five, I'm looking pretty oily. Um, and I do notice some breaking down with this foundation, but that's not until later in the day. So I don't notice um, breaking down around five or six hours. I don't notice that until maybe like hour eight or something like that. And really just kind of around my mouth and around my nose, which is typically where foundations start to break down on me first. So it's not completely unheard of, but this is not the longest wearing foundation that I've ever found and definitely not matte, but it's not saying it's matte. Um, it doesn't even necessarily say that it's long wearing. So, I mean, you can't really get mad at it because it's not saying that it's supposed to be super duper matte and long wearing. It's supposed to be light and full coverage and which well, it's not really, but you know what I'm saying. It's not saying it's matte. It's not saying it's long wearing and I've not found it to be that. Um, now, one major thing that I noticed about it and I'm not 100% that it's this could be something in my skincare, but I really haven't like changed up a whole lot but I think it might break me out. Um, every time I've used it, I've just noticed some little dots kind of popping up on my forehead mainly. Nothing major, but just some little ones, which is typically an indicator that like, I've used something that my skin is just not happy with. It's not like it's full on freaking out over, but it's just not sitting quite right on my skin. So I'm thinking it might be this foundation. I don't know if it's the antioxidant or the vitamins that they chose something in the formula, the fragrance maybe, I don't know. But, um, and again, I'm not 100% sure that it's this, but it's a possibility. So who do I think this foundation would be for? Um, if you are normal to oily, probably not, unless you don't mind the dewy look, unless you don't mind 
blotting and kind of repowdering throughout the day. If you're looking for matte and long wearing, not the foundation for you. But if you are more normal to dry, I think you'd really like it because I don't notice it like necessarily clinging to anything, looks very skin-like and has that pretty like um, skin-like look on your face. Um, so I think you'd really like the finish of it. And I think it would be um, better suited for your skin type as far as like wear time. I don't think you'd notice as much um, breaking down probably. If you are acne prone or sensitive, I don't know. I would proceed with caution. Um, maybe check out some other reviews and see if other people have experienced that as far as like possible breakouts with it. But I would maybe proceed with caution with that. So I don't dislike this foundation. It's just not my favorite one and I don't think it's best suited for my skin type. I'm going to keep using it for like easy days because I love how it looks when I first apply it. I just won't use it for a day where I want my foundation to like really super duper last throughout the day. Um, and I gotta figure out if it's breaking me out. If it's for sure this, then it's probably overall not for me. But I love how it looks when I first apply it. That's why I'm so like torn with it. So anyway, that's my overall thought. All right guys, so that's my overall review on the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried this foundation. What do you think about it? What's your skin type? What has been your experience with it? I would love to know that and I'm sure everybody else would enjoy to hear your experience as well. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!